Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My dear students, viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Our today topic is correct sketch of Appa Man. Appa Man. This is lesson number seven in the textbook of English class eleventh. In previous lecture. We have we have discussed about the life history of writer Padma Hajmadi. Now on today our topic is characteristics of upper mom. This upper mom is a complex personality. This is a humorous story. Now, first of all, what is Appa Mom means the title of the story. This Mom is a Tamil word means uncle. The younger ones of the whom of Appa Mom call him as Appa Mom. And elders called him Appa. Apart from these epithets, he was also called shameless rascal and old burned face. As the personality of the Appa man is concerned, this is a complex personality. On this disrespected words, he enjoys he enjoys to hear he he has a patience and he in his appearance he is to be a sannyasi. He is sannyasi in his appearance, but he pretends to be a sannyasi. He he has when a, when a writer reaches the home of grandparents along with his mother, he saw that this upper man. Upper mom sits. He sat on the chair of grandparent, grandfather's chair. He wore a dhoti of grandfather. He his head was clean shaved. His forehead was coated with white. White by white, he reads newspapers. He enjoys to sit on comfort of the chairs. This upper man, upper man, has no family, no he has no kids. He has. No doubt he has family, but he has no his kids. He has no life partner, wife. He renounced all the worldly joys. When somebody, when writer, when writer told him where you has been for so many years. He told her that I am in search of spirituality. This this seems that this personality of this upper man is complex. He. 
telling story, incredible stories to the uncles. No one believes all these stories. He tells different stories to different per per persons. Sometimes he plays cricket with the younger ones of the family. The younger ones of the family disliked this upper mom because he stole jewelries, money from the home, and he gave this money to the poor, needy people. But there is not an authentic proof for that. Sometimes he helps young ones of the family, especially students in algebra. But finally, his answers are wrong. Somewhat, he is teaching fact, fact teaching, fact teaching. He also smoked beads and cigarettes. He borrows things from other, from others. He is not a self-dependent person. He is a liar. He never discussed Bhagavad Gita's scriptures. Do he pretends to be a sannyasi? But he never discuss about the religious. He discuss politics. He becomes happy if someone insulted him. Disrespect him. This was about the correct sketch of Abba Ma'am. Thank you for today.